Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I just got out of the shower and put my skincare on. Um, I'm wearing my new uh, Ew David Shit's Creek shirt, my favorite show of all time. And I am coming to you guys today with a box that was sent to me from the Pharmacist Daughter Soap uh, Company. Uh, they were so, so kind to offer to send me a few boxes um, here and there during the spring um, and have me review it for you guys. And I'm really happy to do that because I believe in their company. I have purchased from their company myself. Um, their body products have been great. This is all wax melts, though. This isn't body products. Um, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about them. This is a great mother and daughter team that has put these... Um, products together. I have read their little story to you guys before in a past video, but I'm going to do it again. Um, this is their really cute card. I love their aesthetic. Um, kind of like an old, stop, sorry, my daughters are sitting right here. Stop. Um, like an old pharmacy kind of look here. Um, and it's handmade artisan soap and body care and obviously um, wax melts. And it's Kim and Ainsley Holcomb. Those are the owners, uh, mom and daughter. I don't know why that's not focusing very well. You can find them on Facebook, and their group is the Pharmacist Daughter Soap. Um, their Instagram, which uh, I have tagged many, many times in my posts, are the pharma is at the Pharmacist Daughter Soap. They also have their website that is the PharmacistDaughter.com, and they're on Etsy as the Pharmacist Daughter Soap. Also, um, this is their. Let's see. Just the same information, but a bigger card. But on the back, it just says, The Pharmacist Daughter is co-owned and created by mother-daughter duo Kim and Ainsley Holcomb. They are based out of Charleston, South Carolina, offering a range of affordable body care products handmade for both men and women. Our current product range includes handmade cold process method soaps, lotions, body butters, lip balms, emulsified sugar scrubs, perfume sticks, and beard balm, all in an assortment of fragrances. And I've told you guys, I posted on my Instagram, which is at Danny Loves Wax. Their lip balm is amazing. Um, it just comes in a stick, like a chapstick. But it's, it's in fact, this is it. It's very glossy. On my lips, it like melts and it's super glossy. And it lasts for a long time and is really moisturizing. And I'm super picky about lip balms or glosses or uh, moisturizers. They say we use only the most high quality skin loving ingredients, free of any phthalates or parabens as well as being vegan and cruelty free. This allows us to deliver rich and lather soaps, nourishing lotions that aren't tacky to the skin and hydrating body butters that won't leave you feeling greasy. Um, the journey to the pharmacist's daughter started when Ainsley was diagnosed with chronic migraines at age 12. When all treatments were failing, we started experimenting with aromatherapy and essential oils and we reached a breakthrough. Since then, we have combined creativity and passions to ensure gentle yet lasting fragrances and quality that will keep your skin longing for more. We couldn't be more proud of the work we've put in into ensuring you enjoy our products as much as we do. So sorry, I know that was kind of long, but I thought I'd just let you know kind of a little bit about their company. In the next video I do, I'll just um, refer you to this video with that information. I won't read it again, but um, so let's see here. Um, let's see, they included some information on their upcoming wax release, and that's part of why I'm doing this video. Um, <clears throat> so I know that it's, so tonight is Thursday, it's Thursday night, it's New Year's Eve. Their release is tomorrow, January 1st, it's at noon, and I don't know if that's Eastern Standard Time. Let me see if they put it in this information. Um, they didn't. But, and, and on their Instagram, they have some really beautiful posts of some of the waxes that they've been making, and it has the time on there. And I went and looked at every post, but they all just say noon. So I'm sorry. I don't know if that's, you know, central, mountain, eastern. I'm not sure. Um, so they said, though, this month's box is centered around all things warm and cozy, heavily bakery with some peppermint and manly scents mixed in. You know that I'm happy about that. Um, let's see. We're offering two sizes of the donuts, and I'll show you guys that. I've kind of peeked through some of them, but not smelled all of them. And the donuts, um, there's two different sizes, 6.7 ounces, which can be broken into about eight melts for $8, or a five ounce size, which can be broken into about six melts for $6.50. The cupcakes are three ounces, and they're $5. And there's bunts, tiles, and snap bars that are all about $3. Um, so, I'm excited to show this to you. I'm going to keep this little paper with the um, 
prices and stuff out so I can kind of refer to it as I pull them out of the bag. So they were wrapped so nicely because some of these are really um, like intricate and really cool. And they're, they're every single one of these is wrapped like singly in these foam bags with their pharmacist. Or well, these ones say thank you on them um, with their thank you, like foiled stickers, really pretty. I could have sworn some of the other ones. Nope, they all say thank you. Okay, sorry. Okay, so here we go. First one, which looks like one of their cupcakes. So it says, let me just tell you about it. So the cupcakes, this is three ounces for $5. This first one is called Sweet Addiction. And it's in, it's the notes are lavender, jelly, donut, marshmallow, and pink sugar. Let me just pull it out so I can show it to you guys. Ooh, I first get that lavender. And I told you guys how much I love their lavender. It's not... I don't want to compare it to another vendor because it's not a common lavender that's used by other vendors. Look at this cupcake though. Look how freaking cute. It has like whipped wax almost. I mean, it's, it's hardened, but it's like whipped wax with this really cute, it almost looks like two um, fruit loops on the top. And I think that's pink glitter. Okay, so it says lavender, jelly, donut, marshmallow, and pink sugar. So it is most, I smell lavender the strongest. It's that really cozy lavender that only one other vendor uses. And this is such a good lavender. I get a hint of pink sugar. If the marshmallow's in there, it's just blended in. And I definitely get the jelly part of the jelly donut. I'm not getting like the fried dough part. But it's, I know that sounds weird to have lavender and jelly together, but it's really like scrumptious. That's really so yeah it's like a cozy lavender bakery jelly it's really yummy it's oh, okay if you nana if you're a lavender lover you will like that one because it's strong on the lavender okay just i will hand it to you to smell but you need to be quiet okay okay next one that's wrapped so nice i'm guessing this is the large donut because this is really big um, and so this, the large donut is 6.7 ounces. That's what I'm guessing this one is and would be $8. I could be wrong though. Um, anyway, so this was in the scent scrumptious zucchini bread, fruity pebbles, and Captain Crunch berries. Ooh, 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 this one's so good. You guys are gonna love this one. Okay. So I'm not getting much zucchini bread, but I think it's like a nice bakery kind of base to it. Fruity Pebbles is a really strong oil, but I feel like I'm getting Fruity Pebbles and the Captain Crunch Berries equally. And look at this donut. Oh, it's kind of coming apart, sorry. But you have, you would kind of have to cut it up anyway. So it has like that whipped uh, wax in the middle and two donuts with some glitter and like uh, splattered wax, like decor on the top. Oh, I really get that Captain Crunch Berry cereal but I also really get the fruity pebbles. Not strong on the zucchini bread. Oh gosh, that's so good. <laughs> I love fruity pebbles. Okay. That's amazing. Um, it's equally Captain Crunch and fruity pebbles. It's, yeah, I'm not selling much zucchini bread, um, but I love zucchini bread too. So if it came out on warm, I'd be very excited. Okay, next one. Oh, look at that color of this one. Uh, this is called Tutti Fruity, and this is Mac Apple Lollipop and Fruity Pebbles. Oh, this one's so pretty. Look at this. This silver reminds me of those, like, puff paints I used to use as a kid. Ooh. What the heck? How would you ever think Fruity Pebbles and Mac Apple would smell good together? But it really does what in the world it makes it like a fresh fruity pebbles holy cow is that lollipop a lemon lollipop this smells like a fret because that to me mac apple has like a fresh air uh scent to it almost this almost <laughs> smells like fresh like spring air and fruity pebbles but maybe that lemony lollipop is adding to that holy moly that's good um 
I love Fruity Pebbles. I've told you guys that before. So I'm all about the Fruity Pebbles ones. I know. Okay, put it back in the bag. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. I've been at work all day, so they like miss me. So they wanted to sit here and watch the video. Okay. So this is another cupcake and this is one in Kimmy Cakes. The notes are birthday cake, strawberry white cake, jelly donuts, and strawberry jam. I love strawberry white cake. It's my favorite note listed in this one. And this one, they actually have a video on their Instagram making this one, I believe, because it I just remember watching them put the um, the uh, little, I call them sprinkles. My husband calls them jimmies because he's from the East Coast. But look at, oh no, oh. I came off. <laughs> Sorry guys, frosting flew off. So I am first smelling jelly donuts. This one's actually really light. I think I smell jelly donuts and birthday cake. I'm not smelling much strawberry white cake. They just put them right there. This one's really light. Not gonna lie, I do very honest reviews. I'm not smelling much. It might need to cure. This was for December 27th. Yeah. So I'm smelling a little bit of jelly donut and a little bit of birthday cake, maybe, but that's it. So, that one to you. Okay, and then I just have two huge bags of a bunch of the little tiles that she does. Um, okay, one huge bag of the tiles and then one huge bag of like bunts and what are these ones? Um, Bunts, tiles, and snap bars. So let me show you. Let's do her snap bars first. So the snap bars are all like these little... Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry. Are all like these little cubes. And I would probably melt two of them together in a melter. Um, so I have a bunch of these first. You guys, please stop. Please stop. That is not, that is not professional or polite. Okay? Sorry. Okay, so this first one um, is peaceful dream. I'm excited to get into these kind of fresher scents. So this is lavender, mac apple, white clouds, and vanilla lace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you guys have watched my videos or followed my Instagram for a while, you know that I love lavender and mac apple together. And that lavender, I could just, okay. I'm getting lavender. I'm getting mac apple. A touch of white clouds. The tiniest touch of vanilla lace, which I'm okay with because I'm not the biggest vanilla lace fan. You guys, I'm going to have to start this video over. Go. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is amazing. Um, to me, there's almost something fresher in it. It's lavender, mac, apple, maybe... Gosh, that's so good. That lavender in here is amazing. So definitely lavender first, then Mac Apple, then White Clouds, then Vanilla Lace. Um, definitely a lavender heavy scent, which I'm so happy with. That is amazing. So good. Okay, this next one is called Cloud Nine, Saltwater Princess, which is a new oil I'm in love with, and White Clouds. Ooh. Her White Clouds oil must be different than what I'm used to. Because it's a very, um, like, specific uh, laundry scent that I, my nose is very used to picking out. This one, because it's the same scent that I'm getting in White Clouds and that other one, it's a little bit... It still smells like White Clouds, but it's a little bit sharper, which I appreciate. It smells cleaner than the other White Clouds. There's definitely the saltwater princess in there. It's like a green oceanic soapy scent, almost soapy laundry scent. Beautiful cloud nine. Um, if you're a fresh green soapy laundry lover, you would love that one. Look at those pretty little sparkles on there too. So, and once again, um, these are, the snap bars are $3. 
So I'm not sure if this whole bag is three dollars. So that's a pretty good deal. If that's only three bucks. I promise my next video, uh, whole comes will not have my kids in it like this. I'm so sorry. Okay, this next one I already smelled, and it's amazing. This is called Adventure. Listen to these notes. Hipster, which if you guys don't know, look up that fragrance oil. It's really complex and really good. It ends up coming off as like a fresh masculine scent to me. Um, flannel sheets, which is an amazing uh, laundry scent that I don't think is masculine, but some people do. And then blue sugar. And this is a, a bomb blend. Okay, flannel sheets is the strongest here. And then hipster and then blue sugar. Um, I think if you don't like blue sugar, you don't have to be afraid of this one. But also don't get this one thinking it's like a blue sugar heavy blend because it's not. It's a flannel sheets heavy blend with a touch of blue sugar at the end and hipster just right there in the middle. It's a laundry blend with a touch of masculine, a touch of woodsy and a touch of that blue sugar. That is right up my alley. It's beautiful and it smells very strong. Okay, the next one is called Arctic Blast. Icy peppermint, eucalyptus and thyme. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that is an Arctic, holy moly, but I love it. That is like waking you up. It's not like sinus blaster though. This is um, more friendly than sinus blaster. Definitely eucalyptus -y, peppermint. And the thyme just makes it like a touch more herbal. Ooh. It's a more friendly, more pepperminty type sinus blaster type, but it's not like a vapor rub. Ooh, that is amazing. Part of um, why sometimes I don't like sinus blaster is I want it to be less vapor rubby and more pepperminty, and that's kind of what this is. So I really like that. Ooh, these next ones are a little more decorated. This one's called Cold Morning. Peppermint, mac apple, key lime pie, vanilla ice cream, and salt air. Look at those colors. Really cool. Let me pull one out to show you. Ooh, oh my goodness. That is interesting. Who would think to... It does smell like a cold morning, but almost like a cold morning at the ice cream shop. <laughs> If you want something unique that you haven't smelled from another vendor that is fresh and cool, but like there's definitely an ice cream, vanilla ice cream note in there. The key lime doesn't come out strong. I'm not a huge key lime pie fan. And the Mac apple isn't super strong in it either. I think it just makes that air feel fresher. And it's not a straight up peppermint scent either. It's literally blended so well. It just smells like you're like out in a cool, windy morning with an ice cream in the background. I, holy moly, that is good. I, this is weird, but it reminds me of in the best way when you get up really early and you're in Vegas and you're walking around and you're like, but it's a cool morning and you're smelling like ice cream in the back. I don't know why it's like reminding me of an early morning in Vegas, like after you've slept well, not after a crazy night. Oh my gosh, that is so good. If you want something unique, give that a try. Cold, uh, cold morning. It's like super cool. That's awesome. Okay, this next one's called Celebrate. And this is orange nectar, peaches, tangerine, cognac, jasmine, and violet. Isn't that, though, aren't those the notes of the Lush Celebrate type? Ooh, I believe so. I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. Ooh, yeah. So orange, nectar, and tangerine. I'm smelling tangerine more than orange. Peaches, a little bit. Cognac, there's like a richness to it. And I can imagine there's a touch of jasmine in there. It's mostly like a bourbon-y, but not 
I don't smell liquor, it's just rich. Tangerine and orange with a touch of peach. That's very nice. Um, it definitely, the name is Celebrate. It smells celebratory for sure. That's, I love, I like tangerine a lot. So that is very nice. And those are really pretty. Sorry, I should show you guys. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Mmm, it smells so good. Mm, I really like that. It's juicy. Okay. Next one up, Winter Nights. Pomegranate, peppercorn, oak moss, and earth. Oh, well, okay. These are all so good and unique. What in the world? Holy moly. Is There's no way this is a single scent oil. Wow. Okay. I'd say this comes off as earthy masculine. That pomegranate makes, it puts this like feminine juiciness to it that just smells like a very sexy bedroom. Wow. Wow. That might be my favorite so far. I've never smelled anything like that. Wow. <laughs> If you are a masculine lover, um, especially if you like oak moss, and there is definitely peppercorn, like I said in here. Oh, and the no, did I say, I said pomegranate, peppercorn, oak moss, and earth. Whoa. I don't have enough words for that. Who came up with this, Kim or Ainsley? Wow. That is amazing. Okay, another of the um, snap bars. This is Shiver. Icy Peppermint and Ezra. Ooh, that peppermint is good. Look at how pretty that layered bar is. Blue is my favorite color, so look at that. I wonder what Ezra is. Gosh, that peppermint is good. That is nose coming peppermint. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. You can taste it. What is Ezra? It smells creamy or the peppermint has creaminess in it. Mmm. I cannot pinpoint what Ezra is. I'm so sorry. But that is a delicious peppermint. It's almost like there's a vanilla, I'm oh, sorry, ice cream involved. Oh, that's delicious peppermint. It's like a creamy peppermint. Um, this one, Shiver. Um, I don't know what the Ezra oil is. I'm sorry, but that's a delicious creamy peppermint. Okay, and the last snap bar that I have here to smell is called Rise and Shine. Ooh, a coffee scent. Uh, coffee House, Zucchini Bread, and Morning Beignet. Her coffee is so good. I got some in the um, last box I got from her. Oh my goodness. It's strongest on the coffee house. I get just a touch of the zucchini bread. I would actually say the morning beignet is stronger in here than the zucchini bread. Mmm, I can, yeah. Like a, mmm. Mmm, yummy. Like, you can just get that little bit of fried dough with the powdered sugary kind of note. Oh, that, oh, that coffee is good. She has a good coffee oil. That is so nice. Okay, so last bag, I have one more bag, and it has some of her tiles. Let me show you what her tiles look like. I'm going to pull them out, too. This is in the scent Sugar Coma, and this is marshmallow, pink sugar, fruity pebbles, and blue cotton candy. I'm usually not, oh, but it has fruity pebbles, so. Okay, so let me show you the tiles. Here's one of them. This one has kind of like a lotus flower on it. And um, this, the tiles, uh, I don't know if these together are $3. It just says tiles, $3. So I'm getting um, fruity pebbles the most. But that blue cotton candy definitely does something to those fruity pebbles. And so does that marshmallow. I'm not getting much pink sugar. 
It's a more like kidsy candy fruity pebbles, but the fruity pebbles is definitely the strongest. Sorry, I'm gonna have them smell it. Yeah, it's definitely fruity pebbles heavy, but I can absolutely smell the blue cotton candy too. So not my favorite because I'm not huge into cotton candy scents, but I know a lot of people are, so that one's nice. Okay, you guys, these are all the rest bunts. Oh, these are gorgeous. Okay, this first one is called Berry Delicious, and this is Cranberry Collins, which I had from her Christmas line. It was amazing. Pomegranate, which she has an amazing pomegranate oil. Blackberry scones and blue cotton candy. Let me pull this out. how pretty this is so pretty and these it says bunts are three dollars seems huge okay so I'm not smelling to my nose I'm not smelling much bakery in here but it's like a sweetened cranberry pomegranate the blackberry and pomegranate are weaker than the cranberry but I'm getting all of it. I'm getting blackberry, cranberry, and pomegranate. If the I smell just a touch of that blue cotton candy. But it says blackberry scones. I'm not necessarily getting scones. It's more of a fruity, a sweetened. Oh, I got that pomegranate. A sweetened tart fruit, but not with much bakery. And that's called berry licious. It's good. It's not um a sweet berry, which I'm happy with. It's a tart berry. Very like real berry and like real pomegranate with berry. Mm, that's nice. Um, different than you would expect from something called berry licious because of that pomegranate. Okay, shh. Here. okay, this next one is called Bake My Day. Coffee house, cinnamon sugar donut, cinnamon roll with vanilla frosting. And this one's really cute. Whoa, woo. I get that cinnamon sugar donut first. Yeah. And then coffee house. And cinnamon roll. I mean, it's just like a very cinnamon bakery cinnamon. I'm not getting much vanilla frosting. This is this is almost like um, do you remember Starbucks cinnamon dulce? Was it a lat latte? It almost smells like that with a donut next to it. Yeah, it's very cinnamony. Yeah, very cinnamony coffee. Mm. Yeah. It does smell okay, the next one is um, in the oven. Cinnamon roll with vanilla frosting, sugar cookie, and fresh squeezed oranges. Yes, I love orange bakery. And this bunt is a little bit different. How pretty that one is. Oh, it has multiple colors. Ooh. Ooh. Orange rolls with cinnamon. But it's like a fresher orange because it's fresh squeezed oranges. Oh, this could be a holiday scent because of that orange spice. This would have been an amazing holiday scent. And then once again, I'm not getting too much vanilla frosting with that cinnamon roll. Oh, oops. I'm sorry, cinnamon roll, vanilla frosting, sugar cookie, fresh squeezed oranges. I'm not getting too much sugar cookie either. I mostly get cinnamon roll and fresh squeezed oranges, but it comes together as like a holiday, a very nice warm house holiday scent. I have two more. I hope my camera will let me do them here. Okay, this one's called Freshly Baked Coffee House Pie Crust Zucchini Bread and Funnel Cake. Ooh, I get the zucchini bread here. I love that one. And the pie crust and funnel cake. The coffee house is here. You can smell coffee. And this one's a little bit different too. Kind of a spiral funnel. Two-toned. You can definitely... It's a coffee scent but it's stronger on the bakery. The pie crust, zucchini bread, the funnel cake. If there's spice to this funnel cake oil, it's not a lot. It's a very nice bakery coffee. No. Very nice bakery coffee scent, 
light on the coffee with almost no spice. Uh, very heavier on the pie crust and the zucchini bread on that one. Okay, last one. Ooh, sparkling pomegranate. Pomegranate, pink sugar, and fizzy pop. I love fizzy scents, and I love pomegranate. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm not getting hardly any pink sugar. Like, not at all. Unless her pink sugar is just very different. Oh, that pomegranate. I love the pomegranate oil she uses because it is like that dark, tart pomegranate. I've been so disappointed by other vendors' pomegranates and cranberries this season that I'm just so happy to smell hers. And the fizzy pop. Mm. It is a tart, deep, fizzy. This, man, this is perfect for New Year's. Oh, man, I love your pomegranate oil. And the fizzy pop, it's there. This is effervescent, it's fizzy, but the po it's pomegranate first. Wow. Taking a mouth water. That is beautiful. And it's not too sweet at all. That's not. Okay, that's everything. This is an almost 32 minute movie, hold on, or video. And I'm so sorry about my kids' interruptions. We had a big talk about it before I started the video, but can't have that happen. Um, I hope this helped. I hope that you guys are excited about placing an order tomorrow. These are so unique. Um, once again, if I could tell you to order any freaking thing in here, um, winter nights has blown me away. Um, but once again, I'm a fresh masculine laundry lover, although I am really starting to like bakery, um, and cold morning. These are so unique. If you're looking for something unique and different and strong, that you've like never smelled before. Cold morning. I think anyone that has a favorite genre of any type of melt would like cold morning. And if you like sexy masculine scents, winter nights, holy moly, that's amazing. Um, and then she has a ton of the Fruity Pebbles blends uh, and I love Fruity Pebbles. So Kim and Ainsley, I hope that you're okay with this video. I'm so sorry. I promise my next one won't have my kids in it and interruptions. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to smell these and talk about them because one of my favorite things to do with wax is explain to others how it smells um, and think through it myself and decide what's in it and what I smell in it and what's the strongest and all that. So I was, I, that's why I'm so happy that they gave me this opportunity uh, to do this and I'm happy to continue to do it. So anyway, happy New Year's Eve or happy New Year's Day because I will be posting this New Year's Day morning. Remember that the sale goes live today at noon. And I'm sorry that I don't know which time it is, but at noon. If I end up finding out if it's Eastern Standard Time, Mountain Standard, whatever, whatever time zone it is, I will put it down below the video. Um, thank you so much, you guys. Stay safe. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.